Hey guys, what's up? Nobody here. And today we're going to be tackling the second half of my Sonic Mania Let's Play, where we're going to be doing our Knuckles playthrough. We will be acquiring all the Chaos Emeralds, and we will be defeating Eggman again, if that's what this is about. I actually don't know. But I do recognize this scene. This is from Knuckles' playthrough. <laughs> he got knocked the fuck out in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, too. This is, that was from Knuckles' uh Knuckles' playthrough in the Sonic 3 and Knuckles collection. Or, or, yeah. In the, uh, when you have the two games together, that was from his side of the story. Which we'll see whenever I get to my playthrough of that. Still haven't started recording it. I said I wanted to do it, I just didn't say when I was going to. Yeah. But, so Knuckles pretty much handles exactly like he did in Sonic 3. With the exception of... I feel like he climbs a lot faster. But I could be wrong. Anyway, as you can just see, his first ring is really, 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 really uh, close to the spawn, actually. It's really easy to get to, too. All you have to do is just jump and glide up to the wall and climb up. And granted, Knuckles' climbing ability makes accessing a lot of the emeralds broken. Especially because I know that we can get into Sonic's part of the stage later, which we will be doing, in order to get the other Chaos Emeralds that he has access to. I'm not sure if you're supposed to be able to do that, but I know how you can. And the other reason I know that is because the first time I tried recording this, it didn't pick up any of the game audio, and I got all the way to Studio Opolis up with Knuckles before I realized that. So, a little bit of practice was required. I did get all seven Chaos Emeralds by the time I got to Studio Opolis on the host, though, so, I mean, that bodes well for, you know, actually getting them this time around. <laughs> Last time, if you remember, bit of a problem. Because I suck. Anyway, one down, and if I can direct your attention down to the lower right side of the screen, you will notice our fine emerald bar. You may have been staring at that wondering, what the fuck is this MS Paint shit doing on this kid's fucking Let's Play? Well, it is MS Paint shit, and fuck you for noticing, I tried. So, I decided that I wanted to have something a little bit more uh, appealing for you guys to look at, you know to keep track of all the emeralds I have, and so I decided to throw something together, which I have dubbed the Emerald Bar. For every Sonic game, or for every Sonic Let's Play that I do, I'm probably going to have an Emerald Bar. And what it's going to do is it's going to keep track of all the Chaos Emeralds that we got. As you can see, they're all labeled nice and by zone. And um, I did get them down color-coded too. So... But if you ever want to know how many emeralds we have, you can just direct your eyes to the lower right hand of the screen, and you will easily find out. And I've spent way too much time trying to get this extra life. But you know what? It was worth it! Okay, maybe it wasn't worth it, but I still got it anyway, so fuck you! And I got 14 rings out of that. And a hyper ring! I finally know what the blue ring does! After complaining through my entire Sonic playthrough and giving you guys some wrong information... I finally decided to look it up, and I figured it out! So... Oh no, that wasn't what I was trying to do. So the blue ring is actually an item from Knuckles Chaotix called the Hyper Ring, which, a, as you may have noticed, I actually kind of wasn't wrong about something that I mentioned, in that this game has a mechanic that lets the rings um, group together so you can collect them easier. Well, that's actually what this box does. Wow, you know, being informed actually, make, give me a, or actually gives me a lot of talking points. Who would have thought? Anyway, so yeah, if you ever find one of those and um, you have the ability to grab it and you're not doing too good at keeping your rings together, that might help you out. On the other hand, it might screw you because you don't have as many rings to, you know, recollect. Oh no, crap. If you get up there, there's actually a special stage up here that I'm trying to reach that you can actually get from Sonic's side of the uh, stage. You just have to land in that little area. And there you go. And now, we're on our way to the second stage. Oh boy. You know what? We're going to skip the shortcut. We're going to go for some rings and some blue spheres to speed up. I'm really annoyed that they haven't changed these to red for the Knuckles playthrough. I mean, come on. How hard is that to do? Does it really confuse players that much? It's not even like these stages have red spheres in them. So, well, I, I, I mean, I guess those bombs are red. Maybe it would confuse players a little bit. But I mean, come on. Let's get some Knuckles theming going on, besides just having him in the stage. We can't leave Knuckles out. He's important. 
I mean, you know, he helps to stop Dr. Eggman just as often as the rest of them, even if he does tend to, you know, be easily convinced that, hey, Eggman's probably a good guy. He does that a lot. Knuckles is uh, not the brightest bulb in the socket. Yeah, that one. Let's go with that one. That one makes sense. I wanted to say the brightest bulb in the toaster jar, but I was think I feel like I was combining three different things there. The brightest bulb in the toaster jar. Is that the sweetest cookie in the jar? The most burnt piece of toast? I don't know. I'm not good with, uh... What do you call them? God, I'm having such a... I am drawing such a friggin' blank right now. I'm not good with, uh... Thank you, Monitor. You are an absolutely indispensable thing of, uh... Yeah, that. Hey, wait a minute! I am drawing such a blank. I'm not good with that thing that I just did that wasn't very funny. But, I think we're close to the part where we can actually get to Sonic stage now. We just have to get all the way up here. It's not that hard to do. I mean, it's possible. But, so this place might start looking a little familiar to you. And yeah, we are actually in Sonic stage. And yeah, we can go back. All the way back. Like, as far back as we want. And we can get any Chaos Emerald rings that he may or may not have access to. Which is what we're gonna do. I mean, you know, it might take a little bit. Eee! No! We're going to go over here, hit that special ring, jump all the way up here. I'm pretty sure he actually doesn't have any emeralds over here, but I seem to recall there being one around here. And that's what I'm looking for. Maybe it's down here. I think it actually might be, yeah. Go through here, hit the speed shoes, fly this way. Wait, wait a minute. Is it down here? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I might have just backtrack for nothing. But I know I got one that was in here somewhere, and I need to find it. Unless that was the one that I already got. It could be. I took a small break. Oh, no, wait, it's over here. That's right. Okay, yeah, okay. Yep, okay. I'm stupid. It's over this way. I just spent four minutes wandering around his knuckles. Yep, it's over this way, people. Okay, yep. Yep, false alarm. It's over this way. Yep, there it is. And as you can see, we're actually doing a lot better this time around in terms of collecting the Chaos Emeralds. Who would have thought actually getting some practice in would have actually made things a lot easier? Hopefully we don't, uh, you know, bomb on this particular stage, but I think we'll be all right, even if... Number three was one of the ones that I hated the most. Yeah, I know I said it was four and five, I think, but three was a big pain in my rear end. Keeping rings in three is, like, almost impossible. But if you can get a nice uh, little grouping of, like, 30 by the first time you come around, you should be fine. You should also hopefully hit Mach 2 by your first lap. That definitely helps. Also, don't do what I'm doing and pass up the... Uh, yeah, don't do that. That's not smart. Pass up the uh, blue spheres. Take every opportunity you can to nab some. Rings. Also, that shortcut will really shorten the distance. Granted, I keep calling it a shortcut, and it's really not. But, you know, I like to pretend it is. Oh, yeah, by the way, the UFO speeds up when you do. I think I might have mentioned that earlier, but just in case I didn't, yeah, it does. But... You can always cut him off by the third lap. If you hit Mach 3, you should be fine. Like I said, just do what I do. And now we have three. Alright. So far, so good. Hey, that's that blue hedgehog again of all places. I found you, Faker. Oh, God. Ugh. 
Oh, I am such a nerd. I know. Believe me. You don't have to tell me. Everyone already does. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. I actually know a lot of those word or cutscenes word for word. I played that game a lot as a kid. That was like my favorite thing to do. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the GameCube was probably my childhood in a nutshell. Also, I like the fact that he waits to do the pose until you hit the ground. Instead of it just skipping and moving on. Wee. So yeah, not bad so far. Not bad at all. We got four lives. Now we have five. Gonna hit that box. Now we're invincible. Cool. Now let's see if we can get some other Chaos Emeralds. And uh, wrap up the episode because I don't want to take too much of y'all's fine time. Yeah, Knuckles doesn't need to uh, spin dash into breakable objects. He can just walk through them because he's built Ford tough. Even Ford trucks have trouble with the flies. Oh, God. So, when did the chameleons... Did, did the chameleons always fly? I don't remember if they could always fly. Actually, that's not true. Never mind, I do remember. They could fly. Let's go back here. I think there's... Something... Up this way. I think. Ugh. No, I want to spin dash. Or climb up the wall, that works too. Yeah, we'll climb up the wall. And, hey, look at that! Alright, let's see if we can continue the streak of doing them all in one go. Probably not, but I mean... You never know unless you try. Sweet. Oh man, that made me that that made me uncomfortable. That that jump, I I do not like that jump, and I I do it all the time, and I don't have to, but I do not like doing that jump. It is just, it is just, it's an easy way to get rings, but oh god, it just it's so sketchy. Speaking of an easy way to get rings, if you happen to make it through your first lap, you can literally just grab from the uh, ring pit stop that they have. I really should go for that one too, even though I don't like to. Oh god. You know, I, I love the music for these er, for this special stage. It's just really good. I think it's a remix though. I could be wrong. But I think it is a remix. Wow, not bad. Wow, not bad. I think this emerald, I can safely say, is ours, ladies and gentlemen. It wouldn't have been, but it is. And now we have all four. Well, not all four, but we do have four. All right, sweet. That's four special rings in one go. Yes, so was, was that a destroyed box? Did I already get that box? I might have already gotten that box. No, 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 no. No, damn it. Curse you, thorny stage. I'm going to burn you. Nope. 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 Don't touch me. Don't any one of you touch me. We're going to get extra lives, and we're going to find the Chaos Emerald that I'm pretty sure is down here. In fact, I think it's right over here. Fly in this direction. Oh, wait. I, I, think, I think I might not... Is it, is it through here? I think this is actually Knuckles' stage. Hey, what's in there? What's in here? It's a way to go. Cool. So we'll just climb up here. Let's see what's back this way. Uh, Knuckles' glidability is so OP. Like, so OP. I can go anywhere I want! You have no strings on me! We're gonna go up here. We're gonna do all the fun stuff. Oh wow, you just have the ability to go anywhere. Bitch! 
That wasn't fair. Yeah, well. I think there's one over this way. I think we might just be heading to the boss fight, but I think there's a Chaos Emerald over here. In fact, I think I just remembered where it is. But I think it need to be down there. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I need to be down there. Because you have to... Nope. You have to destroy a ring box, and it takes you straight to it. Nope. Nope. I th I'm pretty sure it's down here somewhere. In fact, it might be over here. Keyword might be, you know, assuming those chameleons that you can't destroy. Oh, nope, that's a boss fight. Oh, well. Oh, fun fact. These legs actually don't hurt you, so you can literally just camp behind Eggman. For the most part. You have to be real careful if you want to fly into him, though. But having the ability to fly his knuckles... Hit me now, Egghead. I'll just take care of you and call that game. I should probably get that. They might want help. But yeah, so that was our first playthrough with Knuckles. Uh, I will see you guys next episode. I hope you stick around, and I hope you enjoyed it. And until then, this is Nobody signing off.